Hey guys, in this Blender tutorial we're going to be creating this really cool procedure stylized blocks that conforms to any shape. I'm going to show you step by step how to easily create and customize it and how to reuse it on different meshes. So let's get started. Firstly let's add a cube, so press shift A, go to mesh and cube. Ok, so let me just come here first and enable cavity, so we can see the edges and the cavities a little better. Let me adjust these two values here as well. Alright, now I'm going to come here to the modifier properties and I'm going to bring in a new modifier. The first modifier will be a remesh modifier and the remesh modifier will add more faces to our mesh. Okay, so let me come here and change the wireframe so we can see what the modifier is doing. All right, so it basically adds more faces to, to our mesh. So I'm gonna change the voxel size to 0 0.025. So bear in mind that the smaller the voxel size, the more quads it's gonna add to our mesh. So it'll take longer to process, but I think this value is quite reasonable. All right, so let me go back to solid view. And now let's add a displace modifier to start getting the rock shape. I'm gonna change the strength to something like 0.09. And I'm gonna click here to add a new texture. And I'm gonna rename the texture to rock layer 1. Because we can add more layers in the future if you want to. Now I'm gonna click here to go to the texture tab. And the texture we've just created is already selected. So I'm going to change the type to Musgrave and I'm going to change the noise basis to Voronoi F2 F1. Alright, now I'm going to change the size to 0.6 and I'm going to come here to the colors tab and enable color ramp. Click here to see the color ramp. I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to drag it to something like here. I think it's okay. And I'm going to click here to adjust the color so we can change our texture. If I make it darker, the space between the rocks becomes softer, as you can see. And if I make it more white, the space is going to be deeper and stronger. So you can see what works better for you. I'm going to leave it like here, I think it's okay. So now we're going to bring in a decimate modifier so our mesh doesn't get too high poly. So you can see here that the face count is quite high right now. And as soon as I change the ratio to 0.1, the face count gets much lower. So now I'm going to bring in another decimate modifier, but this time I'm going to set it to planar. And I'm going to set the angle limit to 10. And enable all boundaries. Alright, uh, the face count is much lower now and I think it looks nicer. So now I'm going to bring in a bevel modifier. I'm going to change the width type to percent. I'm going to change the width percent to 5. And I'm going to change the angle to 20 degrees. Alright, so I think it looks a bit blocky right now. So I'm going to select the object right click and shade out smooth and I'm gonna bring in a smooth modifier to smooth things out and I'm gonna set repeat to 3. Okay so now to make it look better let's bring in a weighted normal modifier and what this modifier does it basically recalculates the normals for each face improving how light interacts with the surface. So if I turn off the modifier you can see how it improves the mesh. So now I'm going to add a triangulate modifier because we have a lot of angles on our mesh. Let me turn off the triangulate modifier for just a second so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, so as you can see we have a lot of angles. So you don't want these angles if you're going to export this object to other software like uh, ZBrush or Maya for example. So that's why we're going to use the triangulate modifier. And we need to enable keep normals. So it looks good, but I think we can make it look better. So I'm going to add another displace modifier to add more details to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here and duplicate this modifier. I'm going to link this texture because we're going to create a new one. Alright, so click new. 
and I'm going to rename it to rock layer 2. Click here again to go to the texture tab. All right, so we already have the Musgrave selected. So I'm going to adjust the size to 0.4. And I'm going to go back here and change the strength to 0.02. And now, as you can see, we added more details to our rocks. So here's without the nude place. And this is the result with it. You don't need to use the second displays if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. But I like it better with more details. Okay, so now I think these edges here are a bit sharp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bevel modifier. And I'm going to place it right here on the top to be the first modifier. And I'm going to change the segments to 2. Alright, I think it looks way better. Alright, so let me just go to edit mode and extrude some faces. So you can see that it conforms to any shape. So let me go back to object mode to see the result. And yeah, there we go. It looks really nice. Okay, so let me just show you how to reuse it on different meshes. So let me just create a different mesh real quick. All right. Okay, so now you have to select this new object. Hold Shift and select the rocks. Press Ctrl L and copy modifiers. Okay, so now you have to apply the scale. All right, and the last thing. Right click and shade out smooth. And there we go. Alright, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, just click the like button and hit subscribe to help this content reach more people. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.